Cryptocurrency is about solving problems. It's about finding solutions in your ecosystems. I'm going to show you a project today that solves a few problems in cryptocurrency. And if you like this product, then I think you should at least consider an investment. And I'm going to show you why. And I'm going to show you why right now is the important time to do that. If you like this type of content, you know what to do. Okay, step one, this is 3Protocol. 3Protocol.ai is the website. It's an AI-related cryptocurrency. Um, and this is the important part for right now. Uh, three pays, no KYC virtual debit card just launched. Users around the world can access their no KYC virtual debit cards through three pay. The sign up process could not be simpler. It gives you exactly what you need to do. All you have to do is click on the link. I'll put the link in the description down below and you can get yourself a debit card. All you have to do is transfer your USDT over into your funding account and boom, you can start spending today. Well, after delivery. But you get the point. Next up here is Brandon Zemp, and he's using his card, which is located on his phone, in order to buy himself a burger at, I don't even know if it's a good burger place. Um, Brandon, was this a good burger place or no? I'm gonna assume it was delicious, no matter what. Anyway, uh, you can use this to buy yourself a burger, or it's not just for burgers, it's for anything that you want. Now, let's check out a little bit of background on 3Protocol. All right, guys, here's the website. Very clean sort of layout here. You can watch this video for yourself. What is 3Protocol? It gives you kind of a breakdown of what uh, this focuses on. And it focuses on a DAO, but it's a DAIO, which is a decentralized artificial intelligence organization uh, in which you have DAO premise and you work like a DAO, but it adds a little bit more into it. We're gonna look at the white paper in just a moment and we'll talk about that. Not only can you do that, but you can also stake your three right now. You can trade it on MEXC, you can trade it on Uniswap. Uh, you can follow these guys on LinkedIn, Reddit, and YouTube. Uh, and then of course you can check it out on CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, and Dex Tools. Let's go to Dex Tools and let's see how it's going so far. Uh, $8.7 million market cap with about 477,000 in liquidity, uh, 2.6,000 holders, and a circulating supply of 100 million. Looks like about 0.75, 750,000 have been burned so far. Uh, and the uh, total supply has all been released. Here is your liquidity lock in case you want to go check it out. It's three protocol token. Now, uh, guys, I can't stress this enough. When you see a chart like this, uh, if you are a monkey, then you say to yourself, oh no, oh no, oh no. If you're an actual investor, a genius, if you will, then you see this as a buy opportunity and what you are looking for is a chart that looks like this. You want that downward pressure because there was the initial pump, there was the initial FOMO build, then you had this dump start. So this could be pre-sale, stuff like that. Then you wanna see another top come up here. You wanna see the high start to come up. Then you wanna see that downward trend. Then you wanna see a trend reversal and that's what you're starting to see right here is a trend reversal. What does it look like in the long term? Well, I'm gonna give you a look at another one that did the same thing. And it came all the way down over into this range, right? This is your bottom, this is where it was. And then what happened? Boom, explosive move back towards all time highs again. Now, let me also point out here, this is Pepe. Guys, just to give you an idea of where we are here, this is a $2 billion market cap right here uh, for Pepe. So Pepe goes on this epic run and then of course it starts to bottom and it comes way down here to the point that people think it's not gonna go anywhere, right? Let me go back here, let me show it to you. Here it is, it's happening right here. You're seeing the same market structure on this chart as you're seeing on Pepe. And then what ends up happening? Well, one day it just absolutely breaks out and boom, explosive move. Now, uh, what are we doing at this point? Well, now what we're doing on Pepe is a 4.2 billion market cap, but let's zoom out and see exactly where it is. This thing went up to over a $5 billion market cap. Now, I'm not telling you, not specifically anyway, that this project is going to a $5 billion market cap or anything like that. I'm telling you that the market structure indicates to me that this is a buy opportunity, and I wanna be very specific here. If it just goes, and by the way, when we look at this, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for upward momentum, right? And I'm looking at it right there, and I'm seeing, you know, we had a little spike over here, so I guess you just kinda of draw it out, and you, know, you can even probably come over here and say, you know, we've got this line, this structure right here, and it's positive, right? So what's the next spike going to be? Well, if it takes off right now, then you can guess in a couple of hours, boom, you're sitting at around 22 cents from eight cents. Guys, that's a three X on three protocol. Are you paying attention yet? Okay. 
So what I want you to do is I want you to look at this and if you don't like it, that's not the investment vehicle for you. But if you see it and you understand these charts, then you know this is the buy zone. This is where you get in right now because if you were to just use a standard FIB retracement tool, then this thing is basically telling you that a very minimum, at a very minimum, you're gonna get a 2X off of it just because it will move back into this range right here at around 15 cents because it's human sentiment, that's the way it works. The rest of the market looking really, really good right now. Uh, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm in the market's only a matter of time before this thing gets found. Now, where does it go from there? A dollar? I don't know. That's gonna be for the market, for you, and for the team to decide. Now let me close this out with you and identify a problem and they have, they've identified several problems here, identification and financial inclusion. This is about KYC, uh, lack of comprehensive AI marketplace implementation, uh, cryptocurrency utilization in commerce to avoid tyrannical legislation and dispute resolution bias. So what is the solution? The solution is three protocol, uh, financial inclusion, neural network AI model, DAOs, which are decentralized artificial intelligence organizations uh, this will give you, as a matter of fact, if you're looking for it, go to the light paper, read through this, get yourself an idea of exactly what it is, um, because it creates a voting protocol that allows you to have a voice, not just vote, but have a voice. And you can explain, and you are required actually, to explain why you're voting the way that you're voting so that people can understand where you're coming to this conclusion. That means you get to tell people what you think and why you think it. You don't just throw up a vote and tell them, I vote yes, I vote no, I vote abstain. Now you actually get to put an up to a 120 character explanation for why you voted the way you voted. This gives you an opportunity to help and educate people who otherwise might not have any information for you. This is leveling up a DAO system. Now let's look at the final piece. Escrow dispute mechanism. The three marketplaces are designed to operate while using holders pseudonymous and anonymized public key hashes, mandating sellers to commit a predefined cryptocurrency amount to cover potential dispute fees when engaging in contracts. Concurrently, buyers will be required to escrow the value of products and services. This is making sure that you are safe and you're not getting scam people in here because these people would be required to cover that cost just in case. For instance, within the Job 3 framework, a project manager seeking web design services would deposit one thousand three tokens into a DAO involved tri signature wallet while the web designer contributes a dispute fee of five three tokens to the same amount so in this context you are going to get paid no matter what because they would be putting up the three tokens for for your remittance later on so this simplifies the whole process and makes sure that you're not getting scammed, you're not getting gamed by anybody. And also, there is a DAO-based dispute resolution, which means that everybody is going to be able to see everything that happened and they will be able to vote just in case there is some sort of dispute. And the people, the people, not the organization, the people will get to decide whether or not there's value in your dispute or argument, if you will, about payment. Problem solved. To your satisfaction, maybe not, maybe so, you never know, but the people will decide. This is the spirit of DAO. This is why this works. So guys, let me encourage you right now. I'm gonna put the links in the description down below. I'm gonna encourage you to go check this out because at some point, very, very soon, when this bull market takes off, this is a hundred million, this is a billion dollar project right under your nose right now, and you have an opportunity to get in at about eight cents. If it goes to a billion market cap, that would actually be about $10. So you've got, uh, uh, you've got a huge opportunity in front of you, uh, but this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not qualified to give you financial advice. I am partner with these guys to provide you with this video. I've showed you everything here. I've given you my opinion of it. The rest is up to you. You decide whether you're going to be a savvy investor or not. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.